this week I thought I would treat you all to a little mini studio vlog so you can see what I'm getting up to. We're almost at the end of April and I am focused on Father's Day items. Now I know that seems like a long, long way off, but actually for me to get everything made, listed and up with good SEO on Etsy, it's gonna take me a while because as regulars will know, I'm a bit slow when it comes to listing new items. So hopefully this will ensure that I get them all up in plenty of time, fingers crossed. <laughs> So come with me whilst I complete this week's orders and let's just get started. This week I have been working quite hard behind the scenes on getting my Father's Day items up and ready and I forgot to film it but I did get some foiling done so I thought you might like to have a look at some of the designs that I have planned. This first one um, is a bit of a running joke in our house. I don't know if you can see that lovely shiny shimmer there. But um, Mr. Chibi Chi definitely thinks that he is the king of the dad joke. So I thought it would be nice to make him his own card. He also has this design in a shirt. And then the idea will be that you can obviously change up there the date that your child or your first child was born. So it makes it a little bit more personalized. And I'm going to offer these in a range of foiled colors as well. Um, I'm really pleased with the actual card that I found. It has been in my stash for about a year now. Um, lots of you will know that the foilet machine that I own hasn't been used uh, despite being brought in January 2020. I am yet to list anything with it that I've actually made. So this card will hopefully be the first item. With another foiling theme, um, I have got this one here. I don't know if you can read that. The foiling on this one has come out absolutely perfect and I am completely over the moon. <laughs> Very apt, over the moon <laughs> with it. Um, I know this one says mummy, but I thought that having it changed up for daddy would be quite cute. And if you have a look back, I'll try and remember to drop a card. You can actually see me on one of my older videos um, illustrating this scene here. I think it's quite cute. Uh, already my illustration style has changed slightly. I now add a line weight to most of my drawings. Um, I think that I may keep this one as it is. Uh, I may have a little play on my iPad to see whether or not I prefer it with a line weight just going around in like a charcoal colour, so we'll have to see. But I thought that this would be really cute to offer up for Father's Day and obviously for Mother's Day um, in America hasn't quite come round yet. But also because it doesn't say Mother's Day or Father's Day on it, it would be great for birthdays as well. So I just had to hop on because I was really pleased that I have actually managed to complete something ready to list that is foiled. But now there's going to be a big task of trying to photograph it because as you've already seen on camera, it is quite tricky to try and get the actual foiled part to show up 
clearly. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to use a mock-up um, and just obviously add in that it is real foil because the mock-ups with foil on can look a little bit flat. It's tricky to try and get them to blend in um, or if I will have a go at actually photographing them and see what happens. it it's the end of another vlog thank you so much for joining me and I just wanted to say a huge thank you because I have finally hit over 40 subscribers so if that was you if you are one of the people that have hit the subscribe button thank you so much I am completely blown away I know that it may seem like quite a small number to some people um, but it has been uh, a good six months I think for me to achieve this and it has only been this year since January that I have started uploading my vlogs on a weekly basis and just having that consistency there and seeing my views kind of growing week on week and seeing uh, the same faces interacting and commenting it really does mean so much to me um, it has been a dream of mine to have a studio vlog or a channel for my business that my fans can kind of come to and have a look at behind the scenes and see what is being planned. So the fact that you guys are actually enjoying it, uh, it, it just means the world to me. So thank you so, so much. I'm going to leave this vlog here. Um, so as I mentioned, it was a short and sweet vlog this week and I hope that you have enjoyed it. Just a little peek behind the scenes at what has been going on. If you have liked it and you aren't already a subscriber, definitely hit that subscribe button. Let's see how quick we can get to 50. And I will see you all next time. Thank you. Bye.